Welcome back, surviving douchebags. Time to get back into some more fo zombie or something or another like that. So we've got some survivors and some zombies to kill. <laughs> some survivors and some weapons to pick up, I should say. Actually, I don't want to be bringing a lot with me on this trip. Yeah, that should be good enough. I want to keep all this stuff back at the fort because I'm going to need some room skis. Actually, you know, I probably should go after the survivors first so I have more hands to carry shit. That is, if they even want to come with. Which is unlikely. Because nobody likes this douchebag here. Though I did want to go ahead and show you guys how I set up the fort and everything with the barricades and stuff that is especially since I spawn up in here I made it a lot easier for myself and others so when we get to the attack I will of course be heading up this here way yeah I say I'll swing around here we'll be heading back up for the warden's office the way I can fight zombies through the jail and then up this stairway because we'll have a barricade here. Then I'll have a... I'll probably have a few people standing right here to uh, shoot douchebag zombies that come up the stairs. Around this corner, we'll still have this room to fall back to in here if we need to. If I come around this way, I've got a barricade here and a second one here and a third one here, which might be a little excessive. But, 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 it'll keep them off our asses. The majority of people will be over here. Oh, goddamn, I'm already tired. Good thing I'm done herp derping my ass around. Let's go after some survivors, shall we? And hopefully get them to join us. I am at health of 97%. Percent. Percent. Oh, shit. And I'm dropping stuff. Oh, God. Which means I might have a little bit better of a chance of somebody joining me. All I need is that first person to, uh, to I was going to say alliance with me, but that's not right. They could form an alliance, though. They could form an alliance with me. Those usually turn out good. If they, you know, want to do it. Fucking jerks. Okay. Let's head straight for those survivors. So that's going to decide on what else is going to happen around here. And what in the fuck is that? Is that a refrigerator or something getting thrown around by a Zed? Check this cop car real quick. And nothing. I know I've found stuff in cop cars before. Just haven't had too much luck with it lately. There's a garage sale down there. I know I'm going to be stopping by there. As well as the gun store. Whether or not these douchebags join me. Oh, there's a group of zombies. Let's cut through this house, shall we? Ben being a douchebag when it comes to opening and closing. That's the bathroom. Opening and closing doors. Opening this door. I don't even know why the fuck I am checking in here. I just am. Help this place. So open this would uh, be like one of those houses I found all them sweet guns at in the last run. Zombies, I see you. This house has a cola machine out back. Nice. I don't even know why I'm picking this lock because I suck at doing things like that. This bin is not a good lick pop. A lick popper. <laughs> have to make our own entrance. Got a mazoo. Now, with how this building is locked up, I would have assumed that the survivors were here, but it doesn't seem that way. Yeah! Wiggle away, Ben. <laughs> yes, as I was saying, with uh, locked doors like that, I would assume that the survivors are here, but... Oh, yes! yes! Holy water. Holy water tits McGee in my butt. And that sexy XE. Desert 
Hegel. Interaction, sweet. Thank you, Mr. Holy Water. Let's pull out that eagle. Fucking sweet. How can he ever turn down a desert? Oh, shit, Ben, run. Run, dive, Ben, roll. LOL, Ben, LOL. Let's go find us some survivors. So glad I checked that house. So fucking glad. I mean, with locked doors, there had to be something good in there. And we found it. Well, it seems as if these survivors are doing a good job surviving. They're still sur survived. Hello, little boy. What's your name? Lawrence Machen. I met one of your mocking motherfuckers. Who your father? Mocking. Okay, Lawrence. Yay, Lawrence joins us with some nails. Okay, little boy. You have really crappy skills. Sneak, spot, douchebaggery. Okay, Lawrence. Take this crowbar and Z shotgun. Go to close range, because I don't want you popping that thing off every few seconds. Not unless your face is getting eaten off. Actually, you stay here for a second, because I'm going to venture up. Yeah. Some, some chocolate in the attic. Sure. What the hell? Everriculum. Everriculum. It's what's for dinner. <laughs> it's the other white meat. All right, Lawrence. Let's uh, wiggle around a little bit more. Of course, we just found the kid here by himself. So it's God damn it, Lawrence. This is why we can't have nice things because you do shit like that. You know. I'm almost tempted to find a safe spot for him and leave him there. Yeah, here comes the zombie. Come here, Lawrence. Let's uh, let's stash the little boy away for another day. Cause he's just going to end up getting fucked up if he continues to run around outside with me. No combat skill. Don't tell me to wait up. Get your ass up here. There you go. It should be good enough from zombies, especially considering I gave him a shotgun. I'll even give him some more stuff to make room for myself. Beaches and cream, bitch. What we're going to do is we're going to go venturing. We're going to have an adventure. That way, once we're ready to go, we can swing back through here, pick him up, and head home to the fort in there. There's a burger porium over there I want to check out. Oh shit. Trees! <laughs> the bane of my existence. And of course it's a four cell house. <laughs> Patio doors are not meant to be opened. They're meant to be jumped through. And if this is a four cell house, which it definitely looks like, I'm pretty sure there's not a goddamn thing in here. I think it kind of gave the developers an excuse to just go up. Oh, well, there you go. There's a new house to uh, put in the code. Hi, zombies. Bye, zombies. Oh, oh, close the door, Ben. There we go. Let's leave through the exit we made. And start heading over to that burger porium. You don't see nothing over here, zombie. Fuck off. Hello, little girl zombies. There's a survivor, a survivor, zombie survival guide protection home emporium. Let's check it out. Usually these things don't have anything with it, but there is something somebody mentioned to me many videos before about checking one of these houses. If this is the house that has it, there's a couch up here 
It has an assault rifle broken on it. Yes, this couch. Though, I don't see how anything could ever be on these things because the assault rifle is always broken and the ammo boxes are always empty. However, trunks are always good. Just like this one. But apparently not this time. Check upstairs real quick. Nope. I guess I'll check the side dresser drawer. I don't even remember those things being in these places. But whatever. Make it work. Okay, burger porium time, baby. Let's get us some delicious boigas. Of course, there's always zombies hanging out in these places. Hi, zombies! Don't mind me, I'm going for a quick bite. Uh, I hope you don't plan on doing the same. Oh, hello, little trekker zombie. That's bad zombie. I guess he's not supposed to be a trucker. I guess he works here. Looks like a trucker to me. Goodbye, zombie. Hello, food. Please, just a little bit. Not even for a little ass wiggling, Ben. Yeah, wiggle your ass at that. Yeah, there you go. A big ass jar pickles. We'll take it. Most definitely. Now, let's GTFO. The zombies are hanging around outside. We're going to juke and jive around these bitches. It's a car lot, which I don't give a fuck about. Yeah. Looks like there's a couple uh, gun stores pretty close by. There's also that garage still I'm going to go over there and check out. I have to fuck a zombie in the face with the Desert Eagle foist. There you go, Mr. Zombie. Suck on that hard and long. Oh, goddamn signs. Oh, wow, really? Usually I always find something in these boxes. Never really more than just like one item, but whatever. And somehow everything is mysteriously staying on this table, and that's a nice find. Well, hello. Goodbye. Yeah, there's this guy in this alleyway. I wonder if he's got anything. We're gonna check him. Not this time. It's pretty rare, it seems. Oh, that's a zombie with a gun. Okay, you can have that building. It usually sucks balls anyway. So let's check out this trigger guard. Goodbye, fireman zombie. There's a church around here too on the other side of the block, but I am not going to bother. Now, Daddy liked this building. Yeah. Show me them goods. Don't show me any zombies, just show me goods. Plocks. Wow, none back here, huh? I'm sure to God there's going to be something in the front of the store. Uh, no army zombies. Okay, that's cool. Pfft. Oh, God damn it. There we go. Yeah, there's no medical kit in there. I'm not even going to bother. Yeah, get down, Ben. Get down. There's zombies walking around here somewhere. It's very unsettling. There's always something in this cabinet. Always something. And... Good, very good. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give Nothing in here, though, unfortunately. 
Though, I mean, hey, three boxes of ammo isn't bad for any location. Any ammos anywhere is very good. And there's more ammos. Sweet. Glad to see we got a good start on the 9 mil ammos. Always seem to find more uh, 9 millimeter pistols and Uzis than what I've got ammo for. Avoid the hospitals. No shit. Ironically enough, the police station is uh, another spot you want to avoid. Very much so. And for some reason, that's easy sauce mode. A school would be a great place, probably. Let's check out this eco pump. Fuck you, zombie face. Let's do a smash and grab before these fuck faces figure out how to get in here. Nothing. What? Yeah. Give me some eats. Here too. Awesome. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Agatha, we're coming for you, lady. Nice find of food. We're working on the door now, which is very bad. So that door is gone, they might figure out that they can get in here. Nice. More gasoline. Which DTF? Oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Excuse me. I tripped on the uh, glass pane that I shattered with my face. I hate it when that happens. Just for shits and giggles, I'm going to check this house. Or not. Well, I'll just say fuck that. Continue onward. That's an evil church as well. I have no desire to go in there unless I have an assault rifle. At a pawn shop. Fucked up baseball boy. A douchebag with a hat. Oh shit, his boyfriend. Nope. Man, sucking with pistols is not good. Another shotgun, sweet. How about a box of cookies? No box of cookies for us, huh? Well, in that case, fuck this shit. I'll just drag the desk across the floor. <laughs> uh -oh, this shotgun is funky. The jog with this shotgun is remarkably slow. Although it does increase your staminers. I think it's about the same speed as what it takes a zombie to get up to you. Or what it takes for it's the same speed as a zombie, so this is a zombie walk. Which I, I can work with this. This is cool. Let's check this house out, shall we? Come on, game. Cooperate. I'd like to take that Xbox 360. We'll turn on our generator and we'll play some fucking Halo. Do people still play Halo? I don't know. I don't. I don't play console games. Let's see anything in this dresser? There's some bones on the bed. Looks like somebody's got a. Boner. Yeah! What have we got in here? Nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Alright, fuck this house. <laughs> fuck it and it's several couches that are available to you. At a crappy grocery store probably find some medicals over there but those things are always next to a park or in a park I should say mm. ah delicious sweet nectar though we might be able to find some preservatives in this fucking shed 
Oh, preservatives. Or some tools. Some springs, maybe. Can't even take much of this stuff. Not that it, any of it's really worth it. Oh boy, somebody's shooting. I do not like that sound. A popsy. <laughs> and it moves the popsy back. Let's uh, let's go find that kid. He's gonna be a smuggling mule. Kind of nervous from all that shooting, though. Goddamn zombies! Fuck off, zombie! Z. Oh, and there's a cop in that shed. No wonder. Uh, 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 oh, boy! Is that the house I left him in? No. It was... Oh God. Fucking zombie. That isn't the house I left him in. <laughs> Look out, boy! Here I come! Though there are zombies in here fucking shit up. It's my little boy! Lawrence, you're still alive. Good. Very good. Take all this food. Gas cans. And some dark crop butcher knife. Oh, that's but okay, whatever. That's a butcher knife. You win game, you win. He's pretty much full. Which gives us a little bit more room to loot some more May as well. Because he probably won't be coming with us on another adventure, and I already looked in that thing, didn't I? Though, the only other place that I really want to go out of my way to look through would be this fire station over here. Even though I probably won't find anything, because I'm either dumb and don't realize that they don't have anything, or the game just doesn't like me. Just throw a fucking door at me. Glad I picked up these shot key shields. Let's uh, check the fridge, though, at least. A lot of nothing. Doodle gog. <laughs> Doodle oh. Or something or another like that. That's some bitchin' shelving to have in your fucking bathroom. <laughs> I love how most of these people live in little closets. Their bedrooms are just like little tiny fucking closets. Don't get me wrong, I've had rooms the size of this before, but... Jesus, man. Entire families live in these damn rooms. Oh, I'll well, see. There's uh, Arthur Penningworth there. It's on the wall. That uh, dirty cunt stole my snickerdoodles. Oh, boy. It almost sound like Inspector Gadget. What the fuck? Fire hose. No need to go for the fire hose. Just open my pants. Was that bad? Yes. I'm sure it was. Check this sack lunch. In that medical kit. I'm about to say fuck fire stations altogether. This is bullshit game. Look at all these fire axes, though. Can I, can I, can I just please have one of these fucker things? We pick it up. But no. Fucking skill of eighty-five with blades. But the game is like, ha ha, fuck you. Oh no, game. Don't fuck me. 
try to fuck me, game. I'll fuck you first. Oh, shit, no. <laughs> I totally didn't expect that. Normally, you don't have these douchebags on the stairs. Pick which way you're going, ass clown. God damn it, Ben. What the fuck? There we go. Let's run upstairs. Oh, what in the fuck? Were they having a goddamn orgy up here or something? Blood orgy. Now there's an EMT on the stairs right here. Fuck's sakes, game. At least he's going all the way down. Okay, Ben. You know you can... Okay, don't jump. Just get attacked. Just just get attacked. At least I didn't get nommed on there. Jumping on those spiral staircases doesn't exactly work out very well. Or I should say, at all. Okay, let's go get Lawrence. Fuck you, lady. Leave me alone! I'll kick a trike! Oh, no! The tricycle stopped me. I couldn't figure out a way past it. Though I do kind of want to look at this house now. They didn't want to put any guns or bullets outside for me. You guys stashing that shit? You hiding it from me? Jesus Christ, look at this family! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's like nine people that live in this fucking one bedroom house. At least they got a big living room. They must camp out in here. Or everybody got nommed on by zombies and they decided to sell all their shit. Oh, this guy clearly got fucked in the face by a pole. Now, why would a cop car drive straight into a drive? Actually, I want to check out this house, to be entirely honest, because there's funky red lights, and there's somebody hate. Oh, no, no! You sons of bitches. Oh, oh, fucking pool. God damn, that's a gigantic fucking, like... I don't even know what you... It's not an in-ground pool. Maybe, uh, out-of-ground pool? Either way, that pool is tall as shit. can't fit in there oh well of course you're gonna block my way douchebag you fucking zombie jerks I want to look in this building oh 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 <laughs> you're not very good at football asshole no oh, the fucking chair get out of the way chair box of Oreos on the bed. Now, game, you give me those Oreos now. <sighs> okay, that's it. I'm uninstalling. <laughs> you can't treat me like this. But look, there's some frozen raviolis in the bathroom. <laughs> I want them to. Damn, that's a disco ball, ain't it? Oh, it's been a while since I've been in one of these houses. They usually have good stuff in them. Uh, rifle, usually, perhaps. Baseball bat! Of course. Another blunt melee weapon. Would have been happy with a machete. Though I much would have preferred... Well, a machete, but... Uh, infield or a grand would have been just a swell. Oh god. Oh god. Fuck you, douchebag. No! What the fuck? That's bullshit. Oh boy. You lose! Failure. Your parents never loved you. Let's go get Lawrence and get the fuck up out of here. Lawrence, Lawrence, Lawrence. There's a garden gnome standing on this pusson's grave. That's what I assume this is. Either that or they've got a really, really big dog here. Or did, anyways. Let's go fetch Lawrence. Okay, kid, you're with me. Let's get the fuck out of here. No, you... I mean, no, don't wait up. Come. Came. Come on, fuck face. God damn it, 
I shouldn't have went out this way. Fuck it, we're gonna deal with it. Come on, you running bastard yiz. Lawrence is already stuck against a car. No, no, not my little boy. Good back up there, Lawrence. Maybe you need to be taken off a close range to mid range. I know depending on the weapon will will change the range that they actually shoot. Okay, that still seems a little far. Not too far. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Delicious. Oh boy. Lawrence, that is way too far to be trying to shoot at him. Run, Lawrence, run, go for the exit. No, not the tent, not the tent. Oh, he made it. Fucking zombie prick. <laughs> He's jogging in place. Go, Lawrence, go, run until your legs can't run anymore. And then run some more. Almost certainly try to make it back alive. That zombie's still after us. What a douchebag. Yeah, I was going to check out that house, but fuck that. Oh boy. There we go. Zumbi chasing us away, all the way back to the fort skis. That's a pretty good haul, I guess. I don't need this crap. And I thought about it. I thought about it some more, and then I thought about it just a wee bit more. We are not going to be taking Lawrence with us. He is way too squishy. And probably important now that we have somebody with carpentry skill. Albeit not very much, but enough. We'll have him keep the shotgun. And we'll have him keep that crappy pistol too. He doesn't need the pitchfork though. Or the spring or the butcher knife. Give him bad instead. There isn't a whole lot, but I'm sure we'll give him more stuffs later. But yeah, I forgot I had more uh, ammo for that Desert Eagle. I sweet picking that fucking thing up that early. Mm. Actually, you know what? As much as I would love to continue using it, I'm going to save it for somebody who's actually good with it and will make better use out of it than me. Since we have a shitload of 9mm, I'm going to stick with that and carry the shotgun along. Although I only have six rounds left for it, it's going to have to do. Now, Lawrence, I don't want you going on raiding with me. I want you building on barricades. Specifically, barricade one. Now, let's go find us some weapons. Hopefully a bladed one. Do your dance, little zombies, across my screen. Show me what you do. It's whatever it is, it ain't a whole lot. Douchebags. Douchebags. really game. I'm glad you didn't crash on me like I thought you were going to be doing. Fuck you, mailman zombies. Oh man, there's a park here, which means there's lots of zombies here too. Let's speed it up a little bit. The sprint hardly takes up any uh, stamina's either. Um, yeah, let's cut through this place. Might be a very bad idea. But, we'll see what happens. Just gotta be careful. Might even come back later and find a little bit of noms. 
Not brains, but snacks. I want me a delicious snack. Oh, God damn it, Ben. Why did you decide to go to dark mode all, all of a sudden? I know you fucking... You, like, did the sprint roll thing through the window with the shotgun earlier. But it was a different shotgun. See, this one slows me down to the point of where I probably can't do that. And that was a fucking pull. Oh, video games, how I love thee. Must be this house next door. It's the whore next door. Let's get in here. Oh yeah, it definitely is this guy's house. He's got some guns and ammies. And an AK-47. Sweet. Never go wrong with an AK. Nev oh, shit. Finally, Glock Model 22. It's one of the sweetest weapons in the game. And on the rare side, because I, I had ammo for it the entire last game, but I never found one. Fortunately, but now we can be fortunate. Ammo. Let us show you them. <laughs> I like that story. Oh, and in the Glock Model 21, which uses the 45 rounds instead of the 40s. So, oh, a little, little zombie dude. Do the Glock. Oh, fuck, Ben. What are you doing? It's my last shotgun shell. Which the Glock Model 21. Because it is a sweet ass pistol. Packs a powerful punch. And it fits lots of bullets. A combination I like. Fortunately, once again, there's no blade anywhere to be found for me. So. I know I've seen a gun store back that. Back some way. <laughs> See, I don't even really think there's anything back there that I want. My inventory is uh, a little over halfway full. Let's see what else we can find. So there's another busted M16 with green boxes of ammo, which is for the Desert Eagle. So I don't know what the fuck was going on there, but either way, they are screwed. Yeah, let's go around. I was going to go into the house and loot a little bit, but like I said, we don't have much ammo to begin with. Now, somebody also said that in these cemeteries, you can find stuff, which the only time I ever have is when there's a weapon stash in a cemetery. Because, quite honest, I've never been in one when there wasn't a weapon stash in there. And I just looked and I didn't see dick. So, fuck cemeteries. Unless there's sexy things to be found inside of them. Oh, not like that. I don't care, hooker zombie, how sexy you want to be. You're not eating my brains. That's not how things work around here. What the fuck? Oh, that's just a crate. First, I thought that was a toolbox in the corner next to that mattress. Definitely not. Definitely not. Kind of fucked up. See, this is another, like, about of laziness from developers. Come on, Kerberos. You can't just fucking put boards on a building and then leave it empty. I mean, if you're going to at least board up a building to the point of where a player can't even get inside, you may as well put things in there to piss us off even more, like fucking ammo boxes and weapon racks and shit like that. <laughs> Here's a veterinarian's office. I normally never go in these. Normally I don't find things in these either. Normally, but I know you sometimes can find medicals in here. So let's see what happens. And there's a zombie in the next room over. Where there is... Oh, that's the next building over it. No? I don't know. There's a zombie in that back room. See ya. Bye. The shooting's coming from the motel next door. Motel, hotel, holiday inn. Which 
what you're not going into, because there's always a fuckload of zombies in there ready to rape your face. Though we are going in here, that's for goddamn sure. Fortunately enough, I see no zombies in here, which is kind of strange. <clears throat> there's always, a, at least usually, a trucker zombie in here. Take all this cop. something in here. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Yes, feed my Glockski. Got a large number of rounds in this fucking thing now. Well, not in it, but uh, ready to slide on in with the magazine. And then go through a zombie's face. Ammo, let me <laughs> let us show you them. Yes, show me them ammos. They're delicious. got some kerosene which I'm pretty sure it's for a weapon oh it's power nice very nice I can deal with that <clears throat> it's very good to me so we're gonna keep that on us <coughs> actually now that I think about it the power was probably boosted from the holy water. The kerosene is still for a weapon, I think. Ah, Vel. Give me. Give me. Sweet. Hell, if we wanted to use our AK now, we could. I'm not worried about the MREs. We got plenty of food as it is. I do want to search this last building, though, because there's medicals and quite possibly a blood pack. Yay, blood pack. And medicals. Sweet. Okay, I've got time. MREs? Nope, Slut Nurse wants a bite out of us, so we're running. Now, the blood pack, that's for assault rifles. Why, I don't know. Oh, God, look at that fuck face. But guess what? I just picked up some 7.62s in this bitch. Prepare to die, fuck face. Again, for the second time. You don't have to be an expert to know how to use an AK-47. Point and sh Oh, God. When I was rolling the camera around real quick, uh, those crates for some reason look like a army zombie, just well, an army zombie standing in the corner just staring at me. Quite a terrifying feeling. It's a feeling I wouldn't mind not feeling anymore. Though I am still ecstatic. I got an AK-47. And more bullets for it. Let's go ahead and get that thing loaded all the way down. Wiggle our ass around a little bit. We're going to go that way. We're going to go there. Nothing, nothing, nothing. MREs, we might be able to find a uh, some black powder over in this crate. Which we give to Lawrence to help with the shotgun. Because shotguns are counted as rifles. Yay. Oh, I forgot about those boxes out back. But those fucking things never have anything in them. So hell with it. Groceria? Yes, mo oh, no. Oh yeah. This thing's got enough power to actually knock these pricks down. Nice. Daddy like. It's my new favorite pistol. Probably second. Oh, goddamn nummy crunches. I want some nummies. It's probably second best to the Desert Eagle, I would say. I do declare. Some soders. Pretty much ready to go back. Oh, shit. That was a powerful door swing, if I do say so myself. Toolbox. Get us some toilet papers. 
love to have that picture in our fort, though. That'd be sweet. Well, you've been Ollie fucking oop. Yeah, that door's damaging itself slowly for whatever reason. It's gonna pop off the hinges. Pretty much out of room, though. Though I'd be happy to substitute something for a giant fucking bacon. Giant, salty, smoky, sweet bacon. Oh, shit. Yeah, because it's right here, too. Good night, Mr. Zombie. May as well take care of you before you get up all in my ass. He's going to get up on my grill just like them raccoon motherfuckers. Oh, you son of a bitch. My brains are not delicious. Okay, Ben. Tweedle yourself a little bit. Don't. Considering how much health we didn't lose, I'm probably not even going to worry about being a nurse. Well, or making Lawrence a nurse or a doctor or anything like that. Oh my god, another big ass jar of pickles. Fuck these car springs and the butcher knife. Probably do a truffle shuffle of a few things around here. Jam pack that jar of pickles in. And we can even take a couple things back. Okay, we are set. Let's GTF you and get the fuck up out of here. Run for it, Ben. Run! Oh. <coughs> That's a pretty good haul. Oh my god, but we lost it on the way. Not. Get rid of this crap. Black powder can go to him. 303s can go back. Put all the health up. You know what? Let's just put basically everything up except for these things. Reorganize and I'm going to run around with the AK, some ammo for it, and my trusty little Glock. That's right, baby. That's our new loadout. And we've got a uh, couple weapons. Well, more than a couple weapons set up for new survivors that we might bring along the way. I would go ahead and turn the power on, but we don't have any power tools that need the power to begin with. Power! Lawrence and Ben himself are going to be working on barricades. However, I'm going to put Lawrence on barricade number two so I can see, get a more accurate rate of how fast he builds with no tools in the dark. Ben, I'm just going to keep on barricade number uno. Let's go ahead and end our day. Oh boy, I started running towards a fucking one. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I clicked on a mission and said, oh no, and they. Which I don't want to do a mission because it's probably night. If not, it's probably close. And I don't want to be caught on the way back. So. I tried to end the day, and I'm like, alright, we ended the day, and the mission's loading. So, I'm going to be very upset if the game, oh my god, I don't know what the fuck just happened. He got 18% done, I got 5% done, we ate stuff, I slept, oh my god, oh my god, no, no, this is what, not what I wanted. No, please, no. Get away from me. Oh my god, it's so dark and scary out here. <sighs> We're in here in the middle of the night. 12 gate shotgun shells are taking them. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I? There's a haymakers over there. <laughs> oh my god, there's zombies everywhere. Well then, what a uh, unusual set of circumstances in English. Okay, Ben, let's see what you can do. Oh, oh 
That's a pump. Move it, Ben. Move. Oh my god, no! No! He shot at my legs. He shot at my legs. <laughs> oh no! What the fuck? Let's get out of here. This is not worth it. This is not worth it. Oh, hi, zombies. Chef Bordy. Oh my god, and I'm about to run out of stems. Oh boy. I got a box of shotgun shells. That's something to chill for it. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. So it's the new day and it's already. It's 1.30 in the morning, but it's a new day and there's survivors and stuff. Hmm. Well, then, I guess we're going to figure out what happens tomorrow, then. Stay safe, survivors. <laughs>